Good morning everyone. As you can see this is HP Notebook, the model number 14S-DQ0. So today in this video we're going to get into BIOS, reinstall Windows 10 in UEFI. So first of all you should have one bootable USB thumb drive and make sure your charger is connected while you do that. So first of all we need to connect it and then get into BIOS by pressing F10, change a couple of major settings to enable EEFI boot and then pretty much that's all. Okay, so let's do that. Now we're going to press and hold the power button to shut it down completely. Once it's switched off completely, then we're going to turn back on and rapidly, simultaneously, we're going to press F10. So let's press F10. Keep pressing it until you see the BIOS screen. That's the one. Press ESC to get into main. So this is the main. It talks about all the model number, serial number, BIOS details and everything. But we need to press the right key to get into different options. Example, if you want to get into security, that's the one. So make sure the TPM is enabled. And we're going to leave rest of the settings as it is. We don't have to do anything. Then let's do another press and configuration also same by default. Then let's get into boot option. All right. So from here, we're going to change a couple of settings. First of all, we're going to get into legacy boot option it has to be disabled. Make sure it's disabled. And then secure boot has to be enabled. All right, those are the settings that you need to make sure set up properly. And then we're going to get into boot priority option. From here, as you can see, it shows my USB on the top. All right, so if you want to change something, what do you have to do? First, you need to highlight in it like that and then press F6. So it's going to go up. Okay, so I'm going to keep my USB on the top of the list. Press F6 again. Okay. Now it's on the top. And then we're going to change. We're going to save these settings and exit it. So make, make sure you save it and press enter. So system going to restart from the USB. It's going to take a couple of minutes. And then we're going to get into the actual setup page, accept the terms and condition, select the internal SSD or hard drive to load up the windows. So now it's already in the setup page. You're going to change whatever you would like to change language, then click on setup. And now it's going to starting up the actual setup process. Before we get into main step, we need to accept the terms and condition and choose how many partition that we want. So we're going to accept it first all the terms and condition. Otherwise, it's not going to let us to install it. And we're going to get into the custom settings. And from here, as you can see, there are more than one partition. If you delete it, you're going to lose the data. So make sure you back it up if there is any important from the previous Windows system. If not, then you are good to go. You can delete one by one, one of them, and then you can customize the partition. I'm going to keep a single partition so the windows would have more space in C drive. And now I'm going to hit next. Now it's going to process all the setup and everything. It's going to copy all the files and folders into the directory, install all the updates and finalize the settings. Then it should be fine. Alright, so it's almost done. It's uh, finalizing all the setup and everything. In that stage, you have to choose the username, password, then 
the keyboard layout and all the other options if you would like you can enable disable many of them try not to connect into internet if you would like a proper update then i would suggest you connect into internet and it's going to take all the updates and everything and pretty much that's all so once it's done it's going to take another few minutes to finalizing and windows would be ready and all the use okay so that's how you enable usb boot in uefi format uefi means the secure boot enable legacy disable and also you have to be very careful when you create the bootable windows 10 thumb drive make sure it's in uefi environment so that's all for today thanks for watching bye for now